can we please stop saying we're up in crime in our subway system? We are not. We're down in crime in the subway system. Can people stop saying we're unsafe down here? We're the safest on the globe. Please believe me. Please believe me. Except Adams is a liar, and New York's serious crimes hit levels not seen in two decades, which we only even know about because the internal NYPD data was leaked to the New York Post. Just remember, it's not a lie if you believe it. Welcome back, thanks for watching. A quick question for you all. If you're a Democrat mayor who has openly supported illegal immigration in a city that by your own admission is now being destroyed by illegal immigration, do you A, take responsibility, admit you were wrong and fix the policy, or B, blame a racist conspiracy to make black mayors look bad? You know it's B. Time resort to crime. Right. How is that gonna make the city safe? Right, right. And and, and that's and that's part of the problem. Imagine having a group of people 18 to 24 years old and being told you can't do anything all day. Mm -hmm. When you go when you go uh, to these hercs and you're seeing these young people and I walk in and I talk with them, some of them come from West Africa, South America, Central America. All they're saying is, man, we, we just want to work. We don't want to sit around here all day and not do anything. I don't care. Wait a minute, what? Who asked these military-aged African men to come to this country illegally in the first place? But apparently, being an illegal immigrant is very lucrative and definitely comes with more benefits than being a lowly citizen. It's as part of a $53 million program, giving the average family of four more than $1,400 per month. It's more than the allowance for some deployed troops. Fox News Digital breaking it all down, saying, quote, while an average military family is suffering from a deficit of $1,860 over a period of nine months, a similarly sized illegal migrant family is being given nearly seven times more. If I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. That is why the real focus should be on our national government that's saying, why are you doing this to New York? Why are you, check out what they're doing. They're doing it to New York, they're doing it to Chicago, they're doing it to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. They're doing it to Houston. What is the same in all those cities? They are all cities with shitty mayors? All black mayors. Mm. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. All black mayors. All black mayors. And so what we're saying, same thing that I'm going through here, my brother Johnson is going through. My sister Bass is going through. My brother Turner is going through. So our folks, are, what they wanted to happen, Governor Abbott wanted to happen, we're gonna turn these uh, uh, cities against their mayors. We're gonna create this environment where they're all gonna go against mm. their mayors. Go Google what they're doing to my brother in Chicago. Go Google what they're doing to Sister Bass. I don't care! As usual, it must be different when Democrats do it because that sounds a lot like a dangerous conspiracy theory that is thus an attack on democracy. I don't know, it seems like there might be a more logical explanation for why these particular cities have been chosen to bust illegal immigrants. And it might have something to do with these cities openly ignoring our federal immigration laws and harboring criminal illegal aliens. You know, it's funny that Adams didn't mention any other cities, such as Texas, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, California, Maryland, and Massachusetts, where it was recently revealed that the Biden regime is secretly flying illegal aliens using the money they take from your paycheck. The truth here is that Democrat mayors have lost the trust of black Democrats, who are currently bearing the brunt of the negative impacts of illegal immigration, which I will remind you again, Eric Adams admitted was destroying New York City. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. What's happening? 
happening in these cities is absolutely not a racist conspiracy to make black mayors look bad. It's Democrat mayors being forced to deal with the consequences of their words and actions. Democrats are not used to that. They're used to virtue signaling and getting covered by the media. All right, folks, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep checking back for more.